Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we left the United States over 300 days ago and have driven over 13,000 miles through six countries. Recently, we picked up our good friend Lindsay, who flew into Nicaragua to join us for a couple weeks of adventure. We left off last episode camping just outside of the popular colonial city of Leon after trying volcano boarding for the first time with mixed success down the active volcano Cerro Negro. We're making the long drive from Leon down to Rivas, and then out to some of our favorite beaches in the country, starting with Playa Pie de Gante. We got to hit Gante, and Lindsay's being fancy on us. Since I'm on vacation. <laughs> She's moving out. I'm moving out. She doesn't want to have anything to do with this camping crap anymore. <laughs> Especially since our air mattress went flat last night. <laughs> yeah, I slept on volcanic rock last night. <laughs> and these used to be their dorm rooms. That's now their private rooms that Lindsay just splurged on. Oh, she's trying to get rid of the spiders. <laughs> these have some nice bug nets. Very, very nice. Playa Pide Gante roughly translates to Giant's Foot Beach and gets its name from the headland at the south end of the beach that from the right angle lines up with the hills and looks like a giant laying on its stomach with its foot extending into the ocean. This headland blocks a lot of the ocean swell and creates a natural bay, allowing the fishermen to safely get their boats on and off the beach. The town continues to be populated primarily with local fishermen and their families, but it has been changing. Originally attracting foreign tourism through traveling surfers, the town now has a hostel, a couple of hotels, fishing and surfing charters, and several restaurants and bars catering to all manner of tourists who are increasingly finding their way to this little beach town. But Igante still manages to hold on to its small town Nicaraguan feel and will always be a special place for Amy and I, as it is where we first met eight years ago while working for one of those original surf camps. We set out on foot to look for waves at the neighboring beaches, but didn't find any surf during our stay. That is a flat ocean. Instead, we spent our time lounging about the beachfront deck at the hostel, playing in the ocean, soaking up the sun, and generally goofing off and relaxing. Being in a familiar place for a few days and reconnecting with some old friends in town was really nice for us after so many days on the road. But Lindsay's vacation time was running out and she still had a few more places she wanted to see before heading home. Gigante this morning and we're here at Playa Maderas with Lindsay. She's kind of checking out all the room options uh, down here at the beach and we're of course going to be camping in our lovely camping situation. Uh, we really liked this place last time we were here. Probably one of our favorite beach camping options and last time we were here there was like 30 monkeys in the trees above us. So hopefully they're back. I know I've already seen a few in the trees over there. You see them? They're in that tree right there.
Playa Madeiras is a nice sandy cove with a couple of beachfront restaurants, hotels, and surf schools serving the well-established tourist population. The gradual sand beach offers consistent waves that can be fun for beginners and experienced surfers alike, but the main reason this spot is so popular is the easy access from Nicaragua's most popular tourist town, San Juan del Sur. With several dedicated shuttle services offering cheap direct transportation between Madeiras and downtown San Juan del Sur, many tourists stay in town and come out to the beach on day trips. Amy and Lindsay decided to do the opposite and head into San Juan del Sur for the day. <laughs> so, uh, Lindsay and I decided to leave Madeira's and we took a shuttle into San Juan del Sur and we're gonna go shopping, probably have some beers at the brewery and probably just get into trouble. <laughs> yep. And then we'll take the shuttle at 5 o'clock, hopefully if we make it, uh, back to Madeira's and back to Matt. I skipped the entrance. It's down there, guys. We're definitely not doing that not again, doing though. Again. I'll do it again. We got some more. All right, where are we going? We are going up to Pelican Eyes. It's a swimming pool. There's like multiple tiers of swimming pools. There's a bar. It's got a great view of San Juan del Sur. And we used to come up here when we worked in Nicaragua. If we had a San Juan del Sur day, we'd come to get parts for the boat and stuff like that. Mm. And the owners would take us up here. I think it only happened a couple times, but it's pretty nice. <laughs> I was like climbing these stairs for the last like 20 minutes. Oh. But I think we're almost there. Oh. <laughs> well, we're back where we started. We're just having a one last round. San Juan del Sur. to leave Playa Madeiras today. Don't really want to do it, but Lindsay only has so many days left, and really we only have so many days left on our visas as well. We have a nice fancy room with AC and a swimming pool that we're gonna go to and hang out in Granada for a few days. City life, here we come. The city of Granada sits on the western shore of Lake Nicaragua. It's known for its brightly colored buildings and Spanish colonial architecture dating back to the 1500s. Its well-established expatriate and tourist communities have spawned a variety of shopping and culinary opportunities that Amy and Lindsay plan to take full advantage of. What'd you get? 
Souvenirs for my friends with kids, for their babies, little baby hammocks. You recommend it. Yes. You recommend putting babies in that, right? Not mine. <laughs> anyway, so she got this for our friend, Carrie, and then one for herself. And they're good for like uh, a cat or putting like fruit. Banana hammocks. Yeah, you can put banana apple. <laughs> they have a book exchange, so I went back to the car and grabbed a few books, and hopefully, we can exchange some new Libros. Lib Libras, yeah, Libras. I got four bucks! Woo -hoo! <laughs> Let's go get a mojito! And just like that, our two weeks with Lindsay was up and we were back in Managua saying our goodbyes. Well, don't get too drunk this morning. <laughs> it's almost, it's almost 11. An hour behind. All right, see ya. <laughs> Bye! Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, Amy Jagger and I continue on. With our visas running out, we point south once again, heading for the international border crossing into Costa Rica.